Hello everyone, welcome to BA Consulting Pro. This is another episode of Tech Sundays. And in this episode, we are going to discuss about first known blank and last known blank text functions. What are these and how to use them? Everything you would get to know in this video. So let's get started. As you can see on your screen now, I have written the definition and syntax for these two text functions. Last known blank is going to give you the last known blank value from a column. However, first known blank is going to give you the first known blank value from the same column. Over here, you will notice in the syntax that there is a column and the expression. You should remember that the column is your iterator over here and expression is going to be your row context. If you are not aware about that row context and iterator, then I'll request you to check our other text videos and you would get to know everything about them too. Now, let me walk you through my data model. What are the tables I'm using over here and how the relationship is working over there. So as you can see, over here I have a date table and I have a sales table. As a reminder, please always remember that don't forget to mark your date table as a date table Otherwise, your date-related time intelligence functions are not going to work. I have a relationship over here with the date. There is a date column and there is a order date over here. So that's how I'm going to make this relationship. So it's a very simple model and I hope you can use it as it is. I'll also provide you this PBX file and you can find the link in the description section to download it. Now, let's go further. In order to do this demonstration, I'm going to use the Dex Studio because it's very easy to evaluate expression inside the Dex Studio. What happens whenever you are trying to bring your date and the sales or the total sales into any matrix or table visualization in Power BI, you cannot see the blank values. That's the main reason I'm going to use over here the Dex Studio. However, there are some alternative ways that you can use it in order to demonstrate your blank values into Power BI visualizations as well. But for this video specifically, we are going to use our Dex Studio. Now, in order to evaluate our Dex expressions into the Dex Studio, first we need to connect our data model to the Dex Studio. And over here, you can see I have multiple options. But what I'm going to use, I'm going to use this PBI or SSDT data model. Just click on connect and you would get this window. At the bottom, you would be able to see your output. Here, you would be able to write your DEX expressions. And then you can also see your tables over here. If you would like to search any field, you can just type it over here and can do that. If you would like to know more about the DEX Studio, please watch our other videos on our YouTube channel where you would find everything related to DEX Studios, how to use it to optimize performance of the data, and much more. Now, I'm going to paste some of my DEX expressions that I have already written and I'm going to make you understand how to use them. Here you can see the very first I'm creating a table or in another sense you can say that I'm evaluating a table where I want to get two columns. One would be our date column, another would be our total sales column. So what I'm trying to get to know from this table, basically I want to get when I encountered a null value in a column and then when I'm going to get my first known blank value. Similarly, at the last or at the bottom of this table, you would be able to find where I'm encountering the last known blank value and then the blank value. So let me just run this one. And here you can see 4th of January, I'm getting the blank value. And after that, I have very first known blank value. So whenever I'm going to run my DEX expression for the first known blank value, I should get a date of 5th of January. That's how we are going to get the date on the row context where I'm encountering my very first known blank value. Similarly, if I'll just sort it in the descending order, you would be able to see that 5th of February is my last blank value and 4th of February is going to be my last known blank value. That's how we are going to use these two DEX functions. Now, I'm sure that you are getting the concept why and how to use them. Now, let's run this and verify whether what I'm seeing is correct or not. And if not, then please don't forget to put your comment in the comment section and I'm going to get back to you. 
So here we are trying to evaluate this expression where I have written calculate table which is the same in order to get the output in a table format. But remember that it's going to give me only one output that is my first known blank and what I'm trying to get over here first known blank column name or over here you can see that I can get it from here that is date. So let's run it and here you can see that I got this date which is my the first known blank value. Similarly, if I'm going to evaluate the second expression, which is my last known blank, here also I should get the date only, which is going to be my 4th of February. So let's see this. And here you can see this is the 4th of February 2014. That's how you can use these two DEX functions. And now I'm damn sure you are able to understand the difference between the first known blank and last known blank. But there are some caveats as well. That means there are certain limitations as well while using these two DAX functions. Please don't forget to practice and share with us your feedback. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next video.